moving on further down this page at paragraph 29, you, you refer to one particular incident, which obviously was one that you remembered. Now we're in early March, and in fact you've linked it to the, to the day when there was an issue about the Prime Minister shaking hands at the hospital, which we know was the 3rd of March, so it, you're right, it's early March. Um, uh, and picking it up about five or six lines down, you, you refer to the jovial tone. Uh, you say, the, but the jovial tone, the view that in implementing containment measures and suspending work and schooling, the Italians were overreacting, uh, and the breezy confidence that we would do better than others had jarred with me. Uh, and just carrying on, you, you describe raising at this meeting concerns that you'd essentially picked up at the school gate or on your mm. sort of parents' WhatsApps uh, and saying, surely we should, we should just pause for a moment. Uh, and Chris Whitty supporting you. Um, but then, to, to, to finish off, um, if we go over the page, you, you say that after that sort of moment, shortly after, the conversation went back to the assertion that we were so well prepared, we shouldn't panic. And you say you left the room even more concerned that we were in the wrong place tonally, feeling I had been patronised for raising the point, and I was particularly bothered by the supreme confidence I had heard. I think, uh, and yes, uh, and obviously that is accurate. I think that the thing I was most concerned about at the time is I really thought that people wanted to know the right thing to do. I wanted to know the right thing to do. You know, should we be keeping our children off school if they had a cough? Should we be seeing vulnerable people and grandparents? It wasn't, it really wasn't clear. And uh, I happen to have great faith and confidence in that most of the time people will do the right thing. And I felt it was that disconnect that I felt so strongly that actually, if we could just tell people what the right and kind and proper thing to do is, people would do that. And sitting there and saying it was great and sort of laughing at the Italians was just, it just felt completely, well, it felt how it sounds.